Give me what to say Let me hear you Clearly define What I am to do Let every word Penetrate the heart Let what is said Leave them running to your arms Use me Lord Use me Lord If I could use for a title tonight I will say doing God will how can we know God will for our life? Let's go to Luke, the ninth chapter, and the 23rd verse. Luke, the ninth chapter, starting at the 23rd verse. He said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. This means you must be committed to follow God's will daily, whatever the cost. That word committed means, we can use as for example, for example there, that our pilot in the towers. We know that when a plane comes down the runway, it stops. It report back up to the tower. He called back down to the pilot and asked the pilot, are you committed to fly this plane? And he had to commit himself, or he won't be able to fly the plane because he has so many life on the plane. Can we go to John, the sixth chapter, in the 38th verse? Jesus said, for I come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. It is God's will that we become like Jesus. We must train ourselves. I said we must train ourselves to think like him. Can we go to John the seventh chapter in the 29th verse? Jesus said, but I know him, for I am from him, and he has sent me. See, Jesus was never in doubt about what God's will was for his life. Our daily prayer, prayers shall be not my will, but God's will be done. God's will shall be a way of life for all of us. Jesus told the disciples, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. When we do God's will, he will give us peace in our heart. We are talking about doing the will of God. How many know in your heart that you really want to do God's will is a commandment. And Jesus command himself to the very end. God looking, God is looking. For the same commitment out of us every day of our life. Are we going to say, let thou will be done and not my will? Can we go to John 15 and 5? Jesus said, I am the vine. You are the branches. He that abide in me. And I am him the same. Bring forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. In order to do God's will, we must abide in Jesus because he is the vine. And we are the branches. His fruit will be in us and we will be like him. And now we can do God's will. The truth is having a willing mind to, let, to allow God to put his will in us to do of his good pleasure. 
And Jesus did whatever it took to please God. In Philippians 2 and 13, for it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. See, doing God's will must come from the heart, a heart that is changed by the grace of God. He changed our heart and put his desire in us to do his will. Knowing God's will is knowing the word of God. And when his word abides in us and we abide in his word, we will have the desire to do his will. Yes, it may be easy to know God's will, but it can be very hard to do God's will in ourselves. There is a song that say, without God, I can do nothing. Without God, I would fail like a ship without a sail. I must ask myself if my prayers is really in accordance with the will of God and the word of God. The Holy Spirit know what the will of God is. We must learn in faith to pray and be led in the spirit to do God's will. When I learn to abide in Christ and yield to his Holy Spirit, I will begin to learn that God will have power to answer prayer. We are talking about doing the will of God. John 8, chapter 28, verse. Then said Jesus unto them, when you have lift up the son of man. Then they know that I am he and that I do nothing of myself but as my father has told me. I speak these things. Jesus said that everything that he did and say on earth was what his father told him to do and say. Doing God's will is obedient to the teaching and commandment of Jesus. Anyone obey the word is doing God's will. In John, the first chapter in the 20th, I mean, in the 17th verse, excuse me, the world passes away and the lust therefore. But he that do the will of God abide forever. Or we can say live forever. John 14 and 24. Jesus said, he that loveth me, not keeping not my saying, and the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father which sent me. Jesus saying, he who do not love me will not obey my teaching. John, the fifth chapter and the third verse, I can on my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, but the will of my Father which has sent me. Jesus did only what his Father told him to do. We must have the same attitude. He did to have the obedience to do God's will. We see that everything Jesus said and did was always the will of God. John 14 and 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. We are always asking God for a detailed roadmap. What you need to do is just follow me. Instead, asking the Lord 
Just tell me what to do one step at a time. That's us right there. And I will do it. He did not say, I will give you a road map. But he did say, I will tell you the right direction to go. He said, I am the way. First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, and the 18th verse. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. God wants you to be thankful about everything in life. So his will be inside of you. Proverbs, the third chapter in the fifth verse. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. We must trust in God and not lean on what we know, what we hear, or what we see. God's will is that you shall be content. God will that you shall have no other God before him. God will for us to have eternal life with him. God will for us to have love one to another. God will for us to be holy. What are the benefits of doing the will of God? Knowing that we can be a light in this dark world. That I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. That God will never leave us or forsake us. And may God bless you and thank you for listening. Give me what to say. Thank you for listening. If this teaching has been a blessing to you and you'd like to partner with our ministry to share the message of Jesus Christ, please visit our website at www.hmclive.org and click the donate button. If you're in our area, we invite you to join us at 4317 Lippincott Boulevard, Burton, Michigan, 48519. Harris Memorial, Church of God in Christ, teaching the truth and showing the love.